is the reason. Three, ten forty ST. We are here at Maple Leaf Gardens, just outside the visitors' dressing room. Let's find out. Mr. Bowles, Mr. Bowles, Mr. Bowles, what do you use your ST for? Well, well, I like to get lots of penalty minutes, you know, so I like to keep track of my penalty minutes on the on the ST, you know. Like it's better than writing it down on paper and adding it up because uh, it's got a 1024K RAM, you know. And like I was born in a little town in Winnipeg. Thank you, Brian. Who made so the furry with the famous sidewalk artist Pierre Boutron? Monsieur Boutron, Monsieur Boutron. Monsieur, what features do you like about the ST? Well, Monsieur. There are 512 couleurs on the palette, and I can mix and match my color to make a computerized simulation of my painting on the sidewalk, monsieur. Thank you, monsieur. Thank you, monsieur. We are here at the New York Stock Exchange in Big Apple. Let's find out about some of these businessmen. What do they use a the computer for? Mister, mister, sir, please. Yeah, uh, pardon me, sir. Uh, would you why? Why did you pick the ST? Well, for one thing, it's faster than the Amiga. It's got more colors than the Apple, and thirdly, it's even more powerful than the IBM. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thomas. Let's find out with the students. Sonny, why did Daddy buy you the ST? Well, sir, for a, a multitude and variety of reasons, which. I will decline to explain in grave detail, but first and foremost, primarily because of the high resolution graphics. But n by no means the least of my concerns is the fact that by purchasing the 1040 ST from Atari, Daddy can save 3.489172% of his annual income for various extraneous expenditures. Well done, Sonny. Well done. Thank you, sir. You can see, it is no doubt the greatest machine ever invented. So go, go out and get this computer right now at an incredible price of 1500 That is 500, 500 less than all the computers of its standard. So go, go get it now while supplies last. Okay, so here's our bananas. Yellow as you can see and kind of round and it's quite more expensive. Yeah, this one here, it's orange and it's uh, reasonably fair priced. Yeah. Uh, just excuse me for a second, there, Joe. I couldn't help but notice this one here. Um, would you mind telling us a few things about that? Uh, it looks kind of cool to me. Well, this uh, this is the Apple Macintosh SE computer, and it's it's a good computer. Many bytes, as you can see, and it's good choice, but it's not on sale for a lot of prices these two are. And why would it not be on that sale? Well, this one is a much better, much better computer. Can't afford it without one on sale. I see. Um, now, would you, could you tell me a few things about this computer? For instance, uh, who might be interested in buying it? Well, people who might be interested in buying it are people such as teachers or small businesses, because it's basically used for bar graphs and graphing and any type of graphics. I see. What would you like to uh, say about this? So, uh, I heard there's quite a bit about uh, software these days. So, uh, what is there in the way of software for this computer? Well, the uh, Apple Macintosh has quite a variety. It's got thousands of quality of software and also has 128 writers. Is there anything else you'd like to add about this computer? Um, monitor, keyboard, etc., something like that? Yes, well, the mouse and the, monitor, and the keyboard are both connected to the monitor. It makes it much easier to use. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, at the Abbotsford Computer Store in downtown. Um, as you can see, we've looked at some of these computers here on sale today. Um, when we focus on mainly is the Macintosh Apple. And is there anything else you'd like to say about this computer? Well, all I've got to say is Macintosh Plus, don't do business with it. Um, do you have any family computers? Um, yes, we have several. Would you like to have a look at one? Sure. Okay, this is the Commodore 128 over here. It is a very nice computer. I don't care. Can we draw Mickey Mouse on it? Yes, there are very good level of graphics on the Commodore 128. Oh, games. Yes, you games. can buy many extra discs 
with a wide variety of games available. The level of program for this model to assist me in my pursuit for higher education. Discs available that will help in writing, stories, etc. Will this be expensive because we're on a budget, you know? No, the Commodore 128 is a very economical computer and when you decide in the future that you would like to expand it, you can buy many peripherals. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll think about it and call you back sometime. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Come on, Here a second. What would you rather have? This regular nothing computer or this high-tech computer with 640 black K memory? Uh, the Commodore PC-10-2 with the hard copy drive and a modem. Oh, I'd say the 64. Why? Oh, because I live in the past, I believe in the past, and I live for this computer. Hey man, the color looks nice. Color bees, yeah. Another hidden camera interview with the university professor this time. It's this regular nothing computer called the 64, or that, this high-tech computer with a 640 block memory called the Commodore PC-10-2 with, with a hard copy drive and a modem. Uh, the PC-10-2, of course. Why? Well, the PC-10-2 is a high-tech, I understand. It runs at a speed of both 4.778-9262-4987 ohms and can be bought with a printer, modem, and a hard copy disk. It is everything a person needs. There you have it, folks. It's all a person needs. Like I like to say. Have you used your computer lately? No, I can't help you. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested in buying a computer. I want something that has a good sound system and a lot of software, but none of that memory junk. Well, 64 is probably what you want because you don't need all the memory of a Commodore 128. And there's a lot of software. Why don't you uh, take one of these and look over there and get some of the computers? Okay, there's a lot. How much? Excuse me? How much of what? How much for the computer? Oh, well, um, you could probably pay about $850 for a Commodore 64. Whoa, there goes my two bitch mod. Um, hi. I'm a local business representative, and we're seriously considering expanding our company. Now we need a computer to do this. What would you recommend? Well, uh, Commodore 128 sounds like you're looking for. Okay, what about the inputs or outputs? Well, um, you can use a user port, a set port, um, audio input, composite video, serial port, cartridge port, or audio input. They're all listed here. This looks everything but the price. Does that mean it's really expensive? Oh, no. Um, for a high resolution monitor, Have you ever seen this computer? If not, you're probably not successful. If you want to be successful and make life easier, then you should buy the Tandy 1000SX. Because? Before you buy this computer, make sure you have the answers to the question that matters most. Any questions? What you doing, Hud? It's only us here. Really? Who is that? We are the ghosts of computer past. We have come to see if this computer is any good or not. Are you going to hurt us? No, we want some questions answered. First, will your new PC 
be compatible with industry standard software and hardware? Um, um, it's in here somewhere. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. If it's a tangy anymore. Will your new computer have the power and features that you need today? Yes, it's a Tandy 1000XX. What are the features? Um, Tandy features two disk drives, 7.16 and 4.77 MHz, 384 kilobytes, expandable to 640K, an 888 processor. Um, and some additional features are monochrome and color graphics, three voice sound, five expansion slots, joystick interface, printer interface, and an 8087 math code processor. Impressive. A couple more questions. Will your new computer come with its own software? Um, yes, included are DOS 3.2, GW Basic, and Decimate 2. Will your new computer be able to expand as needs change? Yes, if it's a Tandy. Will your new Tandy 1000SX be a dependable office co-worker? No, let me guess if it's a Tandy 1000SX. Right on. The Tandy 1000SX is expandable, dependable, compatible, and affordable. Yes, only for $1,699? Well, sounds like you've passed the test. Well, you've heard it. The Tandy 1000SX is the right choice for life's hardships. Tandy, follow the leader.